if not a filmmaker i think jitu joseph would have been an amazing amazing crime thriller novelist Hi everyone welcome to Ajit's react and review my name is Ashmita and I hope you all are doing well and today's review is of a 2013 Malayalam film Memory starring Prithvi Raj in the lead role so I watched this movie like a couple of days back actually I watched a lot of films and had asked that you know which is the next review after Mandela that you want so most of the comments were of Memories followed by Irover so yes I'm going to do Irover next followed by Irul and Priest. So yes, without dealing this any further, let's get into the detailed analysis of the film. This is an investigative crime thriller which revolves around an alcoholic police officer Sam played by Prithvi Raj. He was once a highly coveted police officer but because of a huge tragedy that happens to his family he turns to alcohol as his solace. Now if you look at the basic premise or the basic plot of this movie it is a story which is like really not unheard of this has been done countless times in our industry where a serial killer is on the loose and the police is trying to capture this person but what makes all the difference is how the entire story has been put together and the overall execution of the storyline here we have an alcoholic police officer who becomes the main investigator to find the serial killer what i really liked about the storyline particularly was the back story of the serial killer and how it connected with the current killings that he was doing This is the third movie of Jitu Joseph that I'm watching. The first two being Drishyam and Drishyam 2. And again, with this movie, he has proved what a great writer he is. The way he weaved the serial killing, the backstories, and Sam's family dynamics to the entire serial killing plot was brilliant. The writing follows a similar pattern that I have watched in the Drishyam series, where the first half is used to set up the context very, very detailed wise, and that makes is the payoffs at the later half of the movie worthwhile this is the jitu joseph style of writing that i've gotten used to now i was really caught off guard at the ending climax reveal which was absolutely fantastic and something that i really expect from a good thriller another thing that i found really interesting was the integration of the holy bible into the storyline which reminded me of the hindi web series asur now all said and done though i found the writing to be near perfect there was this one big loophole that i found which i couldn't get out of my head okay now going into the spoiler territory when i was watching this movie i couldn't figure out why the police department didn't use the person who is an expert at making faces that person was never used in this movie and i say this because at almost midway of the film the police figures out who the serial killer might be while i agree that there might not be an older photo available but the police department has a dedicated person who can draw faces this is the description that the witnesses give him in fact there is a scene where prithvi raj along with his colleague ask this lady that is there an older photo available of this person or not and she says no i was just wondering that when you have figured out who this person is why couldn't they call the person who is an expert in making the drawing this is the description that the witnesses give where was that guy now from a narrative standpoint i completely completely understand that you have to reveal the face of the killer at the end that is fine that is completely understandable but when i was thinking about this particular point the writing just looked flawed this was the biggest loophole in the writing that i could find and i was just not able to get it out of my head but yes if you keep that particular point aside if you put a pin on it then the writing is near perfect another thing about the writing which quite did not sit with me was the interaction between the police personnel now it being a 2013 film i completely understand that if i had watched this movie at that point of time i wouldn't have found anything weird with the dialogues again i'm going to bring back drishyam 2 here because the way the cops interacted in drishyam 2 was extremely extremely realistic 
and natural but i didn't feel that while watching memories so yes these were just the only two things about the writing that i sort of didn't like coming to the direction i really liked how the entire movie was executed by jitu joseph the build up was great which made the payoff extremely satisfactory to me and what i've understood after watching three jitu joseph films is that he is extremely good in setting up the context the way he creates the world and weaves everything and integrates everything for the final climax i think very few directors and writers can do it throughout the entire run of the film i had this anticipation in my heart that oh my god what is going to happen next how is he going to figure out who is the killer and at least for me i believe that if by watching a thriller you have this anticipation that what is going to happen next and who is the killer if this thing is constantly running in your mind then yes i would consider it as a very well directed film another thing about the direction that i really liked was how well prithvi raj's character was treated in the movie the character treatment of him being an alcoholic and finding it so difficult to quit and give up was very very realistically shown jitu joseph managed to create the feeling of empathy at least inside of me for sam's character I really like the score of this film. A lot of natural sounds used and the fact that it being a thriller the score was not very over dramatic. I was really appreciative of that. In fact, I also did not mind the placement of the songs. It did not break the flow of the film for me. Overall, I wouldn't say that the score blew my mind away, but yes, it was pretty satisfactory. Sujit Vasudev cinematography was fabulous. This is the biggest technical highlight and plus point for me in this film. The camera work overall was extremely engaging and very well done and there were so many scenes that were shot in the night. I think the night scenes were done particularly well. There are a couple of sequences that were just a complete stand out for me. The ending climax camera work was really good, but for me I think my favorite scene would be the chase sequence where Prithviraj all most catches the killer and the killer is running and prithviraj is running behind of him and him being an alcoholic he is getting really tired and not able to catch him that entire sequence shot in the rain was absolutely beautiful the editing of this movie is done by john kurti and uh, if i talk just about the pacing i would say that overall i really like the pacing of the latter half which needed to be a little fast and i like that they have kept it that way the first half where there could be a response you know a mixed response for this because i as an audience i'm used to you know in malayalam movies specifically where they take a good amount of time to set up context now generally what people expect from a thriller is that they want it to be extremely fast paced from start to finish i personally am okay with you know setting up the context in a little slower pace because specifically for this movie i think it was required to establish prithvi raj's story in a detailed manner to get the full impact of the climax scene so yes if it comes down to me personally i really did not have a problem with the pacing of the film but i do understand if there could be a point of view saying that no the first half pacing could have been done differently i i wouldn't i wouldn't you know disagree also to that point but do let me know do share your thoughts what did you think about the editing of this film this is out and out a prithvi raj film i mean he has literally and when i say literally carried the film on his shoulders from start to finish but yes i am absolutely appreciative of the supporting cast as well but definitely for me the standout performer was prithvi raj now all the supporting actors which include shrijit ravi vijay raghavan nia george rahul madhav sp shri kumar nedu muri venu and vanitha krishna chandran all of these actors did their respective roles well all of them were good but but prithvi raj was the complete complete show stealer in this movie watching him was such a treat and the way he portrayed that entire alcoholic character i am telling you like i said previously like he garnered the feeling of empathy inside of me the stark contrast of his acting range in ayappanam koshiyam and now in memories that i have seen i truly believe that he can pull off any kind of role there was a perfect mix of intensity gravitas 
and vulnerability that I could find in his acting. More than him being the investigative officer, which I of course loved, the way he portrayed his struggles of you know the tragedy that happened in his family, his struggle with alcohol, and his eventual will to change. I loved everything. Till now, both the films of Prithvi Raj that I've watched are extremely intense characters. Though I don't know if like he, I'm sure he would have done comedy films as well. And I'm 100% sure that he can pull off a comic character also. But I personally think all these intense kind of roles really, really suit him. Definitely give this movie a watch. It is streaming on Disney Plus Hotstar. And uh, when it comes to, you know, if you're a fan of thriller movies where you see, you want to see, you know, anticipation building up, I think this is going to be like a perfect watch. You're going to thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this film. And yes, those were me sharing my thoughts and my analysis on the 2013 Malayalam movie Memories. And yes, you have asked me to watch Mumbai Police also, you know, zillions, zillions times I'm going to do that uh, there are three four Malayalam movies that I have picked to watch this month so I'm going to do that soon you know Mumbai Police then there is Ustad Hotel these two though, I have to watch I know so yeah that was it from me I hope you've enjoyed this review and I've come till the end of the video I'll see you on my next video guys bye bye